the uh, the minor scale has three forms. Okay, those forms are are the natural minor, harmonic minor. Let me write that out. Natural minor, um, harmonic minor, and the melodic minor. Okay. For for now, we'll only go over um, the natural and the harmonic minor. Uh, minor scales are not formed in the same way as the major scale. Rather than having a major inferior tetrachord and a major superior tetrachord, minor scales have a major inferior tetrachord and a minor inferior tetrachord. Okay, so instead of going like this, tone, this, it'll go like this, tone this. Okay? Um, for example, um, if we use C, right? So this would be the major inferior tetrachord, right? Major tetrachord. And this would be the minor tetrachord. and these are both inferior and uh... <clears throat> yeah so this is this is actually um, you might have seen this is C major okay this one is uh... C major and this one is C minor the difference in the superior tetrachord enables you to distinguish the three forms of the minor scale all minor scales are named relative minor scales because they are formed from a major scale, right? They're relative to the major scale. In other words, each major scale has its three relative minor scales. These two scales are connected um, because they share the same key signature, right? These two scales. That is, the minor scale uses the key signature of its relative major. So, to, to find the relative minor of any major key, you must take the tonic of the major scale and move backwards three semitones. So, for example, in, um, let's do this right here, E, X, that stands for example. Um, if we use C major, we want to find its relative um, minor, right? We move backwards three semitones. So, one, two, three, right? So we're at C. We move back to B. Another semitone, B flat, right? Another one, A. Okay. Each scale degree of a scale, like major or minor scale, each degree of the major or minor scale is associated with a Roman numeral. So if we're going to use the example of C major, okay, that scale, let's use uh, the uh, scale uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? Each degree of this scale, here's one degree, two degree, right? It's associated with a Roman numeral. You just basically count it out. So this would be the Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, and uh, I'll pause it and come back to you. Right, so we can see that uh, each degree is associated with the Roman numeral 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and this can go back to 1, right? Um, so this is the octave of, uh, of C major, of the C major scale. You may also use <clears throat> the sixth degree right here. The sixth degree of the major scale to find the new tonic of the minor scale. Okay, so by taking this note as the new uh, as as the tonic, you create another scale, which is, you know, a series of eight notes in a scale pattern keeping the same signature 
as the relative major scale. So, A minor is a relative minor of C major, okay? So let's show you what that looks like, right? So this, um, again, is the A minor. <clears throat> okay, and uh, let me repeat that A minor is a relative minor of C major. Okay, now the natural minor, <clears throat> this term, is one which uses the same key signature as, as its major relative scale with no changes. Therefore, the natural minor scale of A borrows the key signature of its relative major scale of C. Okay? Now let me show you an example just like this, but um, with the uh, E major. Okay? Alright, so to find the relative minor, you must use the tonic and move backwards three semitones, right? You may also use the sixth degree of the major scale. Both will give you the new tonic of the minor scale. Okay, so let's just, um, I want to first jot down the definition of uh, natural minor, okay? So again, A A natural minor is <clears throat> or uses uh, same key <coughs> signature as its major relative scale Um, with no changes. So like I said, to find the relative minor you have to use the tonic and move backwards three semitones. So for this one, um, you can pause the video and think about the answer. What, what would be the relative minor scale of E major? That would be... You got it. Okay. C sharp minor. Okay, moving on. To find the relative harmonic minor, you proceed in the same manner as for the natural minor scale. However, certain changes are needed to distinguish between the two minor scales. In, in the harmonic minor, you have to raise the seventh degree of the scale degree of the scale by one semitone okay so as in the previous example um, the relative minor of C major is A minor uh, to have an A harmonic minor scale, you raise <clears throat> you raise the seventh degree by one semitone. Okay, so you'd raise this by one semitone. If the seventh degree is already flat, you have to cancel the alteration so the distance remains a semitone apart. If, on the other hand, the seventh degree is sharpened you have to alter the alteration with a double sharp in order to maintain maintain the distance of the semitone okay so in here luckily it was natural so we just raise it to a a sharp okay all right this video is getting kind of long so i think we're going to stop here well thanks for watching